Hey y'all, welcome back. We're enjoying another beautiful fake spring day here in central Arkansas. And while we're enjoying this beautiful weather, let's talk potatoes. It's supposed to get cold again here in a few days, so we're gonna enjoy this pretty sunshine as long as we can. So while the kids are out here playing, I've got myself a nice cup of tea, and I'm gonna go work on these potatoes. So to get potatoes ready to go, you need they need to have eyes beginning to develop. So this has a few here, and we're just gonna cut this up so that several of these eyes are on each piece, and then we're gonna allow them to harden and in a few weeks, they should be ready to put in the ground. Cutting up these potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. Potatoes. So the object here is to make sure that we have a few potatoes, a few eyes on each chunk. But we're also going to want to have enough potato to feed the plant as it grows. So you don't want to cut it too small. Um, that uh, that uh, that's pretty good about like that. And what we're going to do. is we're going to go ahead and lay these out for the next couple of weeks and allow those eyes to keep developing and this wet part here is going to scab over. Now some of these, I just picked these up at the feed store the other day and I think some of them are not quite ready to do this. So I probably won't do all of them today. Okay, so I actually found this potato in the pantry that kind of shows what we're trying to do. Um, see how it sprouted? And I'm sure you've had potatoes from your own pantry who, that have done that. Um, we put this in the ground, it kind of has a head start. It's similar to when we start seeds and get them ready to go instead of direct sowing them. Once we split up the potatoes, this part's gonna be wet and we need it to kind of scab over. If we put it in the ground like this, it's probably going to just rot. So what I have here is some scrap pieces of polycarb roofing and it has this these ridges in it which should allow for some airflow and allow these to kind of dry out, scab over and by the time we're ready to put them in the ground these eyes will have developed even more and these are going to make us some great potatoes this year. A lot of people will use egg cartons for this. I use my egg cartons for eggs, so this works better for us in this situation. And I can tell you that having these shelves out here this year is much better than the cardboard boxes lying in the hallway that we had last year. Now I have three different kinds of potatoes here. I've got a white potato, I think it's a Yukon Gold, and red potatoes. Um, I probably should have sorted them and kept them separate while we go through this process but it's not that big a deal to me. Most of them will come out at the same time, so it doesn't matter. And as far as storing, we'll wind up eating a lot of them pretty quickly and freeze drying a lot of the other ones. So what's your favorite kind of potato to plant? I keep seeing these purple ones and I really wanna get my hands on some of the seeds, seed potatoes for those, but 
I haven't found them in the store and this is what the feed store has so that's what I've gotten so far all right there we go now on to the next project I wanted to give you an update on the seeds that we started together last week look at these little sweet marjoram plants There's also a little tiny rosemary there. Oh, and I see another one poking up. What I'm really excited about though is these tomatoes. Look at these guys. They're doing so well. And then the travelers that we started. How do those things look? 